Have you ever been watching something on TV and thought, hey, where'd that dead body come from? How does it look so real? And how did it fall off that tall building? We went to Dapper Cadaver in Los Angeles to learn how they make fake bodies and body parts for TV and movies. Dapper Cadaver bills itself as a death-related prop house and prop fabrication shop. If it's dead or can die, we can make it. This is BJ and Eileen Winslow, co-owners of the prop house. Their work has appeared in many different movies and TV shows. They showed us how their fake bodies are made and how they give them such realistic injuries. We also put one of their creations to the ultimate test. A little loose testicle here, right? Yeah, that's an eyeball. <laughs> no, I think it's a testicle. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Most of their bodies are made in these giant molds. They pour the materials, usually polyfoam, into a mold. Hard to believe that this becomes this. They have molds for just about any kind of project that gets thrown their way. Whichever mold they decide to use depends on the project they're working on. They even have a pig-shaped one in a butcher shop display. They also specialize in organs, which might appear in an autopsy scene. Then, they just pop right out of the mold. Soon, they'll be painted and detailed. The heads are typically life cast from actual people, but are often re-sculpted and given new features over time. When working with clients, sometimes they'll get a photo of an actor or a sketch to help make the model, but most of the time, they have to work completely from scratch. Once we start changing hair and beard and skin color, like those guys can really just completely transform from looking like nobody in particular to looking like two completely different people. And you see a, a, an arm painted flesh tone with no shading on it. It looks like a rubber arm that you would see in a Halloween shop. They have bodies of all shapes and sizes, like a baby made out of silicone. The material allows it to be more flexible and more detailed. This feels like a baby, I mean it's not as warm, but like, about the weight of a baby. Not all fake bodies are made in the same way. So this is our Lucy body. She's what we call a half anatomical, uh, which that means that she is, she's life cast from the waist up, and then she is a posable dummy body from the waist down. And that gives her, you know, a high degree of both detail and flexibility. You know, for real, it's a sharp shirt. He's, he's not like the silicone, you're going to want to move it to bend the wire. There you go. <laughs> Besides dressing them, there's still a lot more they have to do with these bodies to make them look realistic. You've got to be imaginative with your injuries. This body was made to look like it succumbed to frostbite. This one got impaled. And this one is just ahead. I refer to science books and anatomy books, um, you know, uh, police photography, and just like anything that can give me uh, a realistic understanding of, you know, anatomy and the processes that we're working with. We both have a, 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 an appreciation and love of science. Uh, when BJ went to college, he started, actually both of us started out as biology majors. <laughs> He started out in biology, I started out in biophysics, and but it's funny because both of us then ended up in uh, writing degrees over our college time. And so these days we really get to marry our love of both biology and storytelling. They're especially good at making a body look burned. Some of their charred bodies popped up in the Revenant. They demonstrated this technique for us using just an arm. They add layers of paint and spray paint. And what happens on top of the burn is that your skin gets, you know, crispy, wrinkle, wrinkly, starts to, you know, de-glove from the hand itself. So to represent that, we're just using ordinary shrink wrap. Then, they cover it in an ashy looking burn mud. After that, they use a heat gun to shrink the shrink wrap. That's when the details really come out. This looks incredible. Look at the detail on this. We couldn't leave Dapper Cadaver without seeing one of these bodies in action.
They were kind enough to throw a stump body off a 14 foot tall roof for us. Bodies used for these purposes are usually made from a strong dura rubber and filled with foam or another kind of stuffing and covered with a fabric material. This makes the bodies both impact and tear resistant. This particular model yeah. is designed to have yeah. uh, some, uh, some type of swinging arm motion. But could it survive the fall? That was cool. Let's try that again. How's it look? Oh, just the tiniest bit off the nose on impact. Everything else is perfect. 